<laughs> yeah, what's up and what's awesome? I'm awesome, I'm Kino Surf, and I'm your host for this episode of the Laughing News and Reviews. I got a new shirt. You like it? Uh, I don't care if you don't, because I live the surfer life where everything flows. So whether you like it or you don't, it's groovy. Yeah. So I was checking out the Weekly 7 with Monroe Man, and he talked about this incident that happened down in Virginia. Apparently it was called the Red Hen Restaurant. And apparently one of the people that works for Donald Trump was trying to have some breakfast or something. And the owner said, hey, you and your family need to leave. And she did. She totally just left. And like without a fuss. And I'm like, what the heck? I would have been like, no way. I'm hungry. I want to eat my grapes. And you're not going to make me leave because I'm like apolitical. I don't even know what political is. I just want some grits. So get out of my way and go get me some grub. Yeah, that's my take on, on what happened. You know, my friend Jorge from Mexico, he lent me this book. It's called The Buffetology Workbook. I like the title already, Buffetology. It's probably got something to do with surfing. Actually, no, it's not surfing. It's about how to make money, how to make massive amounts of money in the stock market. Now, I don't usually read books, but yeah, I, I might because the praise for Buffetology is amazing. It's, it's a probe inside the head of a financial genius. Wait a second, is this about me? Because I, I, once, I once took 50 cents and I turned it into 75. And then Hoover Capital Management says, absolutely the best book ever written on Warren Buffett's investment methods. I'm digging it. I'm totally digging it. Yeah, and it's got a big fonts and stuff. And you know, this one's already got some underlines in and everything. So maybe I don't have to read the whole thing. I could just kind of get the gist. Oh, I forgot about that Nigerian rap star. I'm gonna say, yo, man, I wanna meet you. Cause I've always wanted to meet a Nigerian rap star. It's been like one of my dreams ever since I was a kid. And I thought, you know, I told my mom and dad, and I said, Ma, dad, please take me to Nigeria. Cause I wanna meet a Nigerian rap star. And uh, they weren't having it. They weren't having it. And uh, they kind of shut me out. Uh, but I'm a grown man now. And uh, I even got my own shirt. And uh, I think I'm going to take a trek out to Nigeria and say, yo, Alamide. I don't even know if that's how you say his name, but uh, it's close enough for rock and roll, you know. This is a message to you, Alamide. I'm coming to Nigeria and I expect the red carpet treatment. Because not every day that Kino Surf steps across the ocean. Usually he's riding on it. Yeah. If you like this stuff, definitely subscribe, press the button, share it, because without you, the fans, yeah, I'm nothing. Oh, just, just one more thing about the dinosaurs. I totally think they should bring them back, because I would definitely support that. I'd get myself a big Bronto. I'd be like a peace ambassador, and I'd wave for my Brontosaurus. That's it, dudes. I'll catch you later. Yeah.